Hi there, I'm Peter. I'm down here at So Fabulous, uh, the open market in Brighton. And uh, what I'm going to teach you to do today is actually really, really good fun. And you can do a lot of different things with it. We're going to put some stuff on a denim jacket. Uh, we've upcycled this, we've got this from a charity shop. So you can use something you in the back of the wardrobe, nick it off your sister, do what you know what I mean, just reuse and recycle some clothing and some material and stuff like that. And so what we're going to do to make this a bit more interesting, is we're going to uh, add some applique. And what that basically means is we're going to add shapes of different fabric onto this fabric. Sound good? Uh, okay, so to get started, you're going to need two different fabrics, uh, some scissors, some normal paper, a pencil, uh, some fusible applique paper, and a sewing kit or a sewing machine. So if you're using any lettering on your design, uh, draw it onto a piece of paper. Make sure it fits easily onto the item of clothing that you're going to use, uh, without going over any thick seams or pockets or anything. Now this is your opportunity to be as creative as you like, so really make something unique. Okay, so you've drawn your design, now what you need to do is trace it backwards onto the other side of the bit of paper because then we're going to attach that onto the applique glue. So just always remember, really important, easy to miss out, get your design, trace it onto the back and then you apply it to the applique glue. And when you're finished tracing, uh, lay the applique paper over the reverse side of your design. Make sure it's the paper side up, not the glue side up. Uh, pin it in place onto your design and trace through with a pencil. When you're done tracing, uh, roughly cut out the design through the applique paper. Now repeat that same process for any other pieces. Uh, if they don't have lettering, you won't need to reverse them onto your applique paper. Uh, paper side up, you can just pin and trace straight through and then uh, roughly cut it out. Before you start ironing, you want to protect your surfaces and the fabrics. Um, I've used a pressing cloth here, but you can use any piece of clean fabric, such as a tea towel. When you've protected your ironing surface, place your cutout applique design on the reverse side of your chosen fabric. Make sure you place it with the glue side of the applique facing down, and you can tell which is the glue side because it's got a grid on it. When the applique is positioned, place another protective fabric on top of your design and iron the applique paper onto your chosen fabric. When you've finished ironing and made sure it's all bonded, you can carefully cut out your design. So repeat this process with any other designs you're making. When you're done, you can lay out the item of clothing flat to check out the placement of your designs. When you're happy with the position of your designs, check that the glue has transferred before peeling off the backing paper. You'll be left with a faint grid of dried glue. Iron it again if it hasn't transferred. Now you can fuse the first layer in place using an iron and a pressing cloth. Gently check the fabric to make sure it's secured properly. If it isn't, keep ironing. So now you can sew your design in place. You can do this by using a machine or by hand. Okay, so always start and finish your line of stitching with a couple of back stitches just to secure your thread, stop it unraveling. And when you're sewing into a tight corner, use your hand crank on the side of the machine to make sure the needle is through the fabric, right in the corner, and then you lift the foot up and gently pivot the fabric around the needle. Then put the foot back down and carry on sewing. It's that easy. When you finish sewing on the first layer, you can press on your second layer. So position your second design. When you're happy, peel off the backing paper, iron the design onto your fabric, and then sew it into place. When you're sewing around tricky curves, go really, really slowly, just so you've got control over what you're doing. 
If even that's too fast, use the wheel on the side of the machine to crank it by hand. Do it one stitch at a time, just to get a really nice finish. Uh, brilliant. So you're done. You've finished. That's all you need to do. And you've got something to be really proud of that you made yourself. I mean, not everyone can say that. Um, you've learned some skills that you can transfer to other projects. Uh, we would really love to see what you've done with this. Uh, so pop down to the studio, uh, email us, Instagram, whatever way, just, just carry a pigeon, bring it on. Get it to us. We want to see what you've done and, and enjoy. Go with Go with it, make more things, do this more, do it for your friends, do it for your man, she'll love it. Um, but yeah, keep sewing, it's good for you.